Hey guys, welcome back to the Voice of Diabetes. My name is Diana Butucci. If you are new to the YouTube channel, please make sure you subscribe, like, comment below, and share. Today, we are going to talk about COVID-19 vaccine. That's the latest um, you've probably been hearing about it, seeing on the news. So today, we're gonna get straight into talking about it. And at the end, we will also discuss if you who may have diabetes need to get the vaccine. Before we talk about that, I do want to talk to you about what vaccines are. Why are, what are they? Why do we need them? And are they beneficial to us? So what is a vaccine? Basically, a vaccine is introducing you to the organism. The vaccine is giving you a tiny, non-dangerous part of the organism, also known as a bad guy. So the vaccine purposely gives you a piece of the bad guy so that your body can, can build what we call antibodies. Antibodies are the good guys. They are the soldiers. So the body is building soldiers. So if you were to get the actual organism or the virus, you'd be ready to fight. I normally like to compare it to war. Think of the vaccine as preparing you to go to war. You're building the soldiers, you're building this defense mechanism, you're building this shield that if you were to go into war, you would be ready and you would win. So in other words, you wouldn't get as sick, you would pass the, the virus in a few days, um, it could prevent death, it could prevent um, hospitalization. So really that's what a vaccine does for you. It's just building your immunity, it's building the defense mechanisms that you need if you needed to fight against that organism. That leads me to talking about herd immunity. It's crazy. In 2020, we've heard a lot about herd immunity. People were making comments about, hey, let's just let everyone get sick. And pretty much whoever makes it makes it and whoever doesn't, too bad. That is unethical. That is not the way we, we want to build herd immunity in our communities. The way we build herd immunity safely is through vaccinations. So the way I like to, to tell patients is let's just talk about a family of seven. I have six family members who got the vaccine against this particular virus, let's just say COVID-19. And there was one family member that could not get the, the vaccine because they were immunocompromised. They may, maybe that family member had, has cancer, they're on chemotherapy. They cannot get the vaccine because even the tiny non-dangerous part that we've given through the vaccination could be too much for them to fight. Um, their immune system is just so immunocompromised that even that non-dangerous part can make them very ill. Therefore, we, we say we're not going to give those very immunocompromised people, but what we're going to do is we're going to build herd immunity in the community, meaning if those six family members got vaccinated, they are going to protect the seventh family member who could not get vaccinated for X amount of reasons. If I'm out in the public, I, get, I, I come across the organism, I already have the immunity, my body's ready to fight, so I will not get the virus. Therefore, when I come home, I won't pass it on to that family member who could not get vaccinated. That's the same thing in the community. If majority of the people in the community are vaccinated, we're not only protecting ourselves, but we're protecting people that could not get the vaccine, the immunocompromised in this case. We have two pharmaceutical companies, very experienced, um, Moderna and the Pfizer pharmaceutical company who have the vaccine out. It's being administered right now to the frontline workers and also people in long-term facilities because th that, those two particular groups are at higher risk for getting the, the virus. Obviously, we're in constant contact with people who have the virus. Therefore, that puts us at highest risk. Both of the pharmaceutical companies, both the Materna and the Pfizer, have a two-phase dose vaccine, meaning you get one shot today, and then in a few weeks, you get the second dose. Both of these companies stated that you're only getting, you're starting to build some protection with the first dose. You're getting the actual benefit from the second dose. So if you've gotten just that first one, you're probably not gonna get much of protection. When you get the second vaccine, then you're really getting most of the protection that the vaccine is intended to do. There is another vaccine in phase three in clinical trials right now that is gonna be a one-shot dose. I'm hoping that that gets approved uh, because we know that compliance is much better when people only have to get one shot versus going back for a second shot. 
uh, but also the more vaccines we have out to the public, the better it is, the quicker we can get everyone vaccinated in the nation and hoping that we can put uh, COVID-19 behind us. Uh, right now we have over 350,000 lives that have been taken away because of COVID-19. We know how serious this is. Personally, I had two family members who had COVID-19. It was not fun. It was very scary. I can't even imagine for the families that have gone through similar situations but may have lost family members. It's devastating. Um, I'm hoping that we can put this virus behind us and we can lead more normal lives. Therefore, really stopping the pandemic is going to take that we take all measures uh, that we have available to us. First, we need to make sure we're social distancing. We need to wash our hands. We need to wear our mask. Those are measures that we can defend ourselves from contracting the virus in the first place. The vaccine is a defense mechanism. Therefore, if you are a diabetic and you're watching this video, I would encourage everyone to get the COVID-19 vaccine, whether it's Pfizer, whether it's Moderna. We really need to build the, the immunity that we need to fight against this. We are at war with COVID-19 and we are going to win this. So we just have to be mindful. We have to do everything that we're being told to do by the scientists. We know the science has never let us down before. We have all the pumps, all the sensors, insulins, medications we need because of science. Therefore, we need to trust the science. We need to do our part and we need to really work with one another so that we can put this pandemic behind us. So I encourage you all to get the COVID vaccine. In the midweek, I am going to talk about the Moderna and the Pfizer and compare the two. But in the meantime, I want to just say thank you for tuning in. Again, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know um, and I'll see you guys all next week. Take care, stay well, stay safe. And I'm hoping for a very good 2021 full of positive energy, health, and safety. See you guys all next time. Take care.